Liberty, and today I want to share with you how to crochet this spiderweb square. For this project, I'm using size 4 yarn and a size 5 millimeter hook, but of course you can use whatever size hook and yarn that you would like, as well as any color of course, but for me I'm just using a solid white. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab my yarn and make a slip knot. Now if you're a complete beginner to crochet, I do have my crocheting for beginners video linked in the description box down below if you want to practice with that first and then come back to this one. So after I have made my slip knot, I'm going to chain three and then after chaining three I'm going to go back into that first chain that I created and make a single crochet. I will then be left with this little cluster. I will find a stitch within that little cluster. It doesn't really matter which stitch and make a total of eight single crochets inside of that same opening. So again, find a stitch and work within that one stitch the entire time. Make a total of eight single crochets inside of that one stitch. And a single crochet is through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over, then through the last two loops. Through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over, through the last two loops. And you're going to make, again, a total of eight single crochets inside of that same stitch in the center or wherever of the cluster. And once you have completed all eight single crochets of that row, we're going to complete that row by slip stitching into the very first single crochet that you made for that row. And that's going to complete the circular center of our spider web and after you've completed that first row it should look something like this then you're going to chain three so one and two and three then you're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet is yarn over through the stitch, yarn over back through the stitch, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through the last two loops. Then we're going to chain one, go into the next stitch, and make another double crochet, and that's going to be the pattern for this row. So in every single single crochet that you made in the previous row to, you know, make that circle, you're going to make a double crochet on top of it and a chain one in between each double crochet. So you're going to be making a total of eight double crochets with a chain one in between, so one per stitch. So I just have a couple more double crochets to go. Again, for a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, go through the stitch, then yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through the last two loops, chain one in between, make another double crochet following those exact same steps until you reach the end of this row. And the way that you know you're at the end of every row is once you reach the chain that you made at the beginning of the row, remember when we made that chain three at the very, very beginning? Well, that's the indicator of the end of the row slash the beginning when we first started. So we're going to slip stitch into it to complete the row and we're going to start our third row now. So for the third row, we're actually going to chain four this time. So one, two, three, and four. And although we're going to continue making double crochets, we are going to do things a little bit different. First of all, make sure that when you make your double crochets, they go on top of the previous row's double crochets and not in between, in the gaps in between. So make sure that you make the double crochets on top. Also, we're going to be chaining three in between each double crochet this time. So I'm chained three, and now I'm going to go into the previous row's double crochet and make another double crochet on top of it. Again, do not go into the gap area. Go on, right on top of the previous row's double crochet. That's going to help build the illusion of the spider web. So again, once you've made your double crochet, you're going to chain three, then yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through the last two loops to complete your double crochet. And this is what the project should look like so far. And then again from here, just chain three, one, two, three, make your double crochets on top of the previous rows of double crochet with a chain three in between. And just continue doing that all around the project. One, two, three, then a double crochet, then chain three and double crochet and so on and so forth until you've reached the end of the row. 
and like we've done previously once we do reach the end of the row we'll know once we reach that um, chain that we made at the very beginning and to complete the row we're just going to slip stitch into that chain and voila we're done with the third row and now for the fourth row it's going to be very similar to what we've been doing but this time at the start we're going to chain six so one two three four five and six then we're going to double crochet into the previous rows double crochet again not in the gap in between but right on top of the double crochet and then in between each double crochet we're going to chain four so make your double crochet and then chain a total of four chains one two three four then make your next double crochet inside of the previous rows double crochet and then again chain four one two three four and then double crochet on top of the previous rows double crochet and after that's complete chain four one two three four then make another double crochet on top of the previous rows double crochet and so on and so forth until you have gone all around and you've reached the very first set of chains that we made for the beginning of this row and once you have reached that you're going to slip stitch into it like we have been doing the previous rows but this time we're going to be completely done with the actual spiderweb design unless of course you do want to make the spiderweb design even bigger then all you need to do is just keep increasing the number of chains in between and the number of chains that you start off with and also probably use larger stitches than a double crochet then it may be time for you to switch to a triple crochet and so on so you can make the spider web bigger and bigger but because i want to make just this little size square i'm going to stop right here and now i'm going to show you how to actually make it into a square as opposed to this round spider web so from here we're going to pinpoint where we want our edges to be and once we've decided where our edges are we're going to make three half double crochets inside of the opening where we want our edge to be so right in the beginning i'm like okay we're going to make an edge right here so right away the first thing i did was make three half double crochets right here and then I moved on to the next opening and made another three single crochets for this part of the project until I reached the point where I want to make the other edge. So I made a total of six single crochets in between. So three half double crochets for the corner and then six single crochets in between until I reach the next opening where I want my uh, corner to be. And that's where I'm going to make another three half double crochets inside of that one area. So one, two, and three. Now I'm going to move on to making my single crochets. So three per opening, so three right there. And then another three single crochets in this next opening. And then I'm going to make another corner piece for my square in the following opening. And the way I'm going to make it into a corner is by making three half double crochets inside of that one area. So I just choose one stitch and I make three half double crochets and then from there I make three single crochets in every opening after that. So there's going to be two more openings in between and I'm making three single crochets in those two openings totaling six single crochets in between every corner piece that I make and once I've reached the area where I want my last corner piece to be the fourth corner piece I'm going to make the three half double crochets inside of that one stitch and then complete the square by making the last six single crochets until I reach the very first corner piece that I made and then I'm just going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that I made and complete that row and now our spider web is a square or at least looks a little bit more square now and from here i'm going to make one more row uh, following the exact same pattern just so it could be uh, a little bit thicker uh, but again i'm just going to follow the exact same pattern every time i reach the corner i'm actually going to make three half double crochets inside of that middle stitch 
to maintain the square shape of that corner and then in every other stitch after that I'm just going to single crochet in every stitch in between and the only time I switch it from single crochet to half double crochet is when I reach the middle stitch of the corner piece. So now that I've reached the middle stitch here I'm going to make three half double crochets inside of that one stitch. So now that I've made my third half double crochet I'm going to switch back to single crochet and just make single crochets all along the rest of the project until I reach the middle stitch of the corner piece and then I'm going to make three half double crochets inside of the middle stitch of the corner piece and your project should look like this or at least something like this at this point and I'm just going to continue making my single crochets until I reach that middle stitch of the corner piece where I'll make three half double crochets then I'm going to make single crochets for the rest of the stitches until I reach the middle stitch of the corner piece. So single crochet the entire way until I reach the corner piece right over here. Then I'm going to make three half double crochets inside of the middle stitch of that corner piece. Then continue on the rest of my project with my single crochets all the way until I reach the last corner. Then from there I'm going to slip stitch into that stitch to complete the row and from there I will be done. But if you want to make this portion like the frame portion of your spider web bigger, more rows, then you could just continue with that pattern and make it bigger and bigger if you like. But for me I think two rows looks pretty good and I'm going to complete my project right here. And this is how to crochet a spider web square. Now obviously there's giant gaps in between and if you want to cover that up I would highly suggest that you make a solid square, just a crochet square, and you slip stitch the two together so it looks something like this. So again if you want your square to look like this just take the spider web design that you just created and uh, attach it to a solid square. I use black yarn to make my solid square and all you have to do is align them together and then slit stitch them together. So all you have to do is grab your yarn. I use the white yarn because when we slip stitch them together the color that you use to slip stitch them together is going to also show on the front so I wanted to match the spider web and I use white yarn for that so that's why I'm using white yarn to slip stitch them together and all you have to do again is just align them and then a slip stitch through the spider web design and then slip stitch through the solid design at the same time and that's how you attach them together so just do that all around the square and you'll be left with a project that looks something like this so that it's solid. If that's something that you're looking for, if you just wanted the spiderweb design then you don't have to take this additional step. But again if you did want it to be more solid then all you have to do is make the background square. And like I said before you could use whatever color that you like. You can make the spiderweb design with a different color. You could use a different color for the solid square in the back and make a whole bunch of different combinations. Well, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, entertaining, or helpful. And if you did, please give a big thumbs up before you go. And also check out the rest of my channel. I share so many crochet-related videos, ranging from beginner-friendly to more advanced to crochet with me, and so much more. Thank you so, so much again for watching. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already, so I can see you next time. Bye, and have a magical day.